Mashable, I'm Adam Falk. He's the man behind online retail, the guy who helps put books on the digital shelf, and the money behind what will eventually be a 200-foot tall clock. Yes, you heard that right. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has invested $42 million in a big clock. According to a Wall Street Journal report out Tuesday, that's not the only unexpected project the 48-year-old has put time and money into. But it's certainly the one he wants to talk about. The clock, which is being built to tick for 10,000 years, is going up near Bezos' West Texas property. And as he writes in this blog, drilling is complete. Sure, this is a bit odd for a tech CEO, but he writes about what drew him to the clock on the project's blog. It's designed to be a symbol, an icon for long-term thinking. As I see it, humans are now technologically advanced enough that we can create not only extraordinary wonders, but also civilization-scale problems. We're likely to need more long-term thinking. And here we thought his vision of the future was full of tablets and virtual shopping carts. Still, his outside investments also include some tech, specifically an idea for a cell phone airbag, as in a hidden phone pillow that would fly out just as your phone is about to crash onto the concrete. Then there's his investment in spaceship company Blue Origin, which, according to a Bezos post, had a bit of a setback in testing last September. But what's really the point of investigating his investments? Wall Street Journal reporter Stu Wu says, And I decided to ask him, instead of asking him about Amazon and Kindle, which he gets questions about all the time, right, I right, wanted right. To, to get into his mind and try to figure out what makes him tick, so to say. <laughs> and what makes him tick could affect his company. Take a look at other major tech CEOs, Tim Cook, Mark Zuckerberg, Reed Hastings. It's likely your view of them influences in some way your view of Apple, Facebook, and Netflix. Though we still don't expect Amazon to sell a 10,000 year clock anytime soon. For Mashable, I'm Adam Paul.